Hello? Anne? You here? Anne? Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. You all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. It's so stupid. That's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. Still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a arachnid drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now... it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Hey, Lola. Need a hand? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator. 
which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. And I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? Well, that's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in, waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. Edie? No trace yet. Hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. No. Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. Anne. Anne, are you alright? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes. But it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. It's a start. Commander? I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on. Let's get you some help.
Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, all purchases made by Agor Munitions will show in your credit report as AM Trading Limited. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the end. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I don't like secrets, Miranda. Just tell me what's going on. I can't, Shepard. If that's a problem, I'll go. Don't. Trust is a little hard to come by right now. Of course. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Status recognized. Please select a destination. 
One moment, please. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. Something else? I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze, or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard.
inspector status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Back again, I see. See you around, Zaid. All right, Shepard. I'll be here a while. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Batarian State Arms, Thank you. defending the hegemony. I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Commander. I've gotten food for my family, and for some of the others who are trapped here, too. Nice! Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. Anyhow, enough about my armor. Let's find the gang and celebrate. Seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? 
We'll talk later. I'm sure. I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. So what were you able to pull from the inscriptions? Really? Excellent. I knew they'd find something. How's the translation going? I don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the Avalon has this war. Kilgan won't bring anyone back. Actually, I found a Cacliosaurus skull preserved in amber. Maybe you could clone it, or... You're kidding? You're kidding. Seriously? Status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24.
you're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Areas tagged of interest. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Welcome to Kanala Exports. We appreciate your visit. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the answer's been cut. Killing you won't bring people back. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Arriving at Docking Bay D24. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Adani. It's a low gravity planet, toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Signal confirmed. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan.
Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Given these circumstances, what are we expecting to find down there? Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice, we're here. Yes, but then what? If this is a Reaper, how can we ally ourselves with it? They are monsters, never to be trusted. Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. It's here. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible. The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Yes, we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! <laughs> Worse, Commander. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. Look at all this. Whatever that pulse was, we're not the first to get hit. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. This is a place of death. Those ships look like they've been drifting for years.
but there's a development. We need to talk. Status. Shuttle's the mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. The Normandy could extract us. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Then we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Great. Repurpose for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater has exploded, it should be good to go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Wait a minute. Are we seriously considering? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Shepard, we'll hold them off! Get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Commander, this is really a hindrance. This plan, even I would hesitate. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. 
Let's go. Shepard. I'll be fine. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. So far? Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! If you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. I can see much from here. Suit is warming up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. <clears throat> Shutting down all non critical systems to preserve remaining power. I'm not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Can't see anything just yet. Keep moving.
it to me. Galaxy's at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. No one has possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species can be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. Through the cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they would care for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it Harbinger. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. You built that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, Every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment, evolution its tool. Will it?
it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. You should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Are you all right? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Hell of a headache. Don't ever do that again. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? Well, I don't know. We proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. Over the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Ann. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. terminal.
Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists' amnesty and an invitation. Right away. if you'd avoided talking to Leviathan any further. I don't want any tentacled creature inside your mind, except me. Feel free to look around. Real Spectre?
tasty shot! something. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. 
after we attempted to kill them. We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Sally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me... If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. 
I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Commander.
We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem.
We'll get your people out of here safely. I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Any resistance? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operations center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Anti-fighter lasers? They're using ultraviolet frequencies, not infrared. That's a lot more expensive, and a lot more powerful. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the Op Center before they lose more. Preservation in these machines. 
network intelligence. As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive. You fought them before, Commander. Disable their shields. And take them down before they recharge. Signals hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. In my cycle, a race called the Jar used machines. The Jatil are synthetic symbiotes. The Reapers subjugated the Jatil as they had the Geth. Their mechanical swarms blotted out the sky. They were brutal, merciless. Kila, what did you do? We sent their star into supernova. That's not really an option here. Not yet. I destroyed a system to take out the Alpha Relay. It wasn't an easy decision. Combat data. What's the state of the battle? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. find the operations center. Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. The Dreadnought's operations center is just ahead. is operational. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere.
What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. They're dropping down from the ceiling. There could be cloak hunters as well. More synthetics incoming. Central processor is handling. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. This ship design is almost quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. Synthetics do not care for organic ease of use or aesthetic beauty. In some cases, they actively oppose it. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. shortly, Admiral.
they stuck firing. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on, the drive course shouldn't be far.
Holy Reaper tech. But what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. You know this gift? Yes. It helped me fight the Collectors. It's on our side. Unless it was reprogrammed, like the rest of the Geth. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack. Not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No. You successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Death reinforcements incoming!
Warriors, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Just transmit intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Gaff fires are docked in a port side fire bay. We can pilot a fire to safety. Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. <laughs> 